Well, there's this drum channel I watch on YouTube, and he has he did this series of videos where he had his viewers send in a bunch of fart samples of them farting, and then he made songs with it. Like he sampled them on the drum kit, and he play drums, and it just be a bunch of fart sounds playing. So it's pretty good. It's, it sounds like a fun time. I watched it this morning. It was, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Some of the rancid, wet-ass farts those people would sit in, though. Like, they're terrible, man. Terrible. Someone, someone shit their pants while making that. Oh, yeah. All right. Welcome back, Billy. We're going to get crunk. Welcome back to Michigan. <laughs> um, we're actually in the same room for once. We haven't done this in a bit. My parents won a bunch of booze. So we've got a monster, mean green... The Beast Unleashed, and Leah, it looks like the Godzilla eye on the on the yeah. can. But it has three claws, like Jurassic Park 3, our, the Spinosaurus. Yeah. Our original crew has been making drinks for 30 plus years now. Our favorite brand, Monster Energy, is about to turn 21. Yeah, I'm, I, I know, I can play the game. Hold Enter on. Crow. We crow figured, crow. why not celebrate the big day by making an adult beverage? We hit delete on the energy blend, cut out the caffeine, and ditch the sugar. Oh, then I'm probably not going to like it. Next, yeah, we brewed up the smoothest tasting alcohol ever and blended it with our tried and true flavors. The Beast is Unleashed. Great taste. Six point oh my percent alcohol and no sugar to weigh you down. That's weird. I don't like the way they worded that. Get ready to celebrate and don't be afraid of the big bad beast. Are you ready for this shit? No, but I guess I... I'm going to get so fucking drunk. One sip and I'm done. I mean, that that smells like a winner to me, but I, I don't know. Oh, oh, it smells like monster. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Oh, well, you don't like monster and you don't like alcohol. I like, no. I like one of the things. <laughs> one out of two ain't bad. It tastes just like a monster. It does not taste like... Alcohol. I don't taste any alcohol in that at all. Ugh. Whew. Oh my god. I see what you mean. Yeah, it tastes just, yeah, it like, tastes a, just like a monster. It tastes That's like a monster. dangerous. That is dangerous. <laughs> Keep it out of Canada. <sighs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> where are we going? Krizoa Palace? Yeah, this is uh, the Krizoa Palace level. Uh. <laughs> Gonna go defeat General Scales. Genital Scales. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I had to change That's not that. his name. He just has genital scales. Yeah. Makes sense. We actually... I mean, has Alex been uh, annoying you about that? Like, we no. need to... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do want to get back to that game, because we're actually almost near the end of uh, Star Fox, but... Uh, oh. Last time we hung out, we recorded, I don't. we didn't even play any. We told the guy at the, the candy shop that we were going to play Star Fox, and then we lied to him, because we didn't. Yeah. Because we're liars. Oh, fuck. I can taste it now. What, the alcohol? Yeah. After yeah, there's a little there's there's a little delay on it, for sure. Um, I'm so fucking wasted. I'm not going to be <laughs> able to go home for at least three days. Well, good thing we got some games to play. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Monday. I have to call into work drunk. Oh, that's okay. Well, that's Fourth of July weekend. Billy, did Some you people celebrate? are going to go to work and still be drunk. Yeah, right. Did you get up to anything crazy for the fourth? No. The fourth is with you. Yeah, no. It just, just sounds like Mike Tyson saying it. The fourth is with you. The fourth. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Mainly, I just kind of hung out and. Um, Played some video games, and then I'm the bored. then the puppy demanded to be uh, held, so I had to lay down <coughs> with her. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And she was like, oh. "That would make sense." Oh my god! Ooh, the buzz blades. Buzz blades fucking rule. I want yeah. that. And she was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna pre. I'm gonna fucking pre die." Oh. oh. So then I gave her some hugs and then she didn't die. That's good. Yeah. Oh, I can get. No, I already got that one. The Megatron. 
uh, collider. You it, sugar. Hell yeah. I don't really need these, probably, but I can get them, so I'm going to get them. My boss and one of his co-workers, or one of my co-workers, love the Transformers movies. So they talk about the Transformers Oops. movies a lot. That's dumb. Yeah. I'm just like, really? Transformers? I don't fucking like any movies anymore. <laughs> like, the first one was pretty decent. I like you know, the first one. You know, what's hap- you know what's happened, too, for me, anyway, is like... Um, like anytime anybody, because I know a lot of people have been buttered over like the new Star Wars thing, mm-hmm. and like oh it's so woke and it's like you know like it's bad and it's like the writing is awful and it's woke. There's like all these like women in it and they're gay and whatever and it's like put a girl in it, make her gay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like the thing of it is for me, it was like I feel that to a degree, but also like it's Star Wars fucking sucks. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like that—that's what I feel more. Is just like Star Wars is just so shitty. Like it, it never should have ever been. Yeah, the big thing that it is now. Like it never should have been like that huge franchise because there's nothing. There's no lore in it. There's no depth yeah, it, or anything. It seems it just feels hollow. It is. <clears throat> so that's my problem. Is like just stop making so much Star Wars shit, Disney. Like God. Like Star Wars should have stopped after. Three was made. I, I kind of agree with you. Like seven, eight, and nine were just ugh. yeah. Right, wipe uh, wipe those from from existence. Oh, like I held, I held some kind of hope after eight that nine you know would be better and it would be fixed and all that. <laughs> I was so, like amazed at how bad number nine was. <laughs> Can I have a few? Like I was like shocked. I was shook to my core, like with how bad that movie is. Yeah, eight eight was terrible. Mm-hmm. Maybe so told. bad. And then I watched nine, and I'm like, I'm just dead. I'm just numb to it all. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I got my full shower. Mm. Like, it's so pathetic and funny how they brought back JJ. They're like, fix this. And he's like, um, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I can't fix. <laughs> I, ju- I can't fix this. I gotta just try and go with it in some weird way. Isn't, like, J.J. critique sometimes, too, for, like, um, kind of just rehashing, like, the old shit again anyway? Yeah. Isn't that a critique people have of him? Mm Mm-hmm. So he did that for two movies. Yeah. In the Star Wars franchise. (laughs) He didn't learn his lesson. No. Or maybe we didn't learn our lesson. Not us specifically, but the people. (laughs) Do you think George Lucas is happy? No. (laughs) Like, well, I didn't use the new Starfighter design that I had developed back in 1983. And I just am really disappointed that that didn't make it into the final cut. I thought they would have really liked that Starfighter. It looked, um, <laughs> it looked very close to my Johnson. <laughs> See, it's got a long shaft and a bulbous nose. It's like a baby's arm holding an apple. <laughs> I called it the tripod. <laughs> I call it the the fucker. <laughs> the fucker. <laughs> I call it, I call it my little fucker. <laughs> I like the fucker. <laughs> I call it, I call it the fucker. <laughs> it was in all of my uh, all of my my. <clears throat> All of my screenplays for the uh, one, two, and three, I wanted the fucker to be a, a real like pivotal ship, kind of like the Millennium Falcon, you know, kind of like uh, it's kind of like cyclical, you know. It's symmetrical on both sides. Yeah, and you know, Millennium Falcon, Falcon, the fucker, <laughs> you know. 
But there is a nice, like, dichotomy between the two. It's a good yin and a yang. <laughs> or like an in and out type of situation, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, Star Wars sucks. Fuck it. If you like Star Wars, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was funny? I'm just really Star Wars on Disney in general. Oh, yeah. I, I think a lot of people are. You know what was funny, though? Mm-hmm. When I saw um, episode 9 in the theater. Is that the only... from Jack and Daxter? No. Is it? No. It does kind of look like it, but no, it's not. Um, okay. The um, we only went because we had a gift card. Like I wouldn't have paid actual money to go see that fucking movie, <laughs> but um, we go and see it. I'm appalled. Like I already knew. Like said, spoiled the movie prior to seeing it because I just didn't care anymore. Um, and um, I was still disappointed <laughs> in what I was watching. But I uh, I remember we were sitting there watching it, me and Melissa, and then there's this, the one part where they're like, Ray. You're a Palpatine. And then like an, like a, a, a silence fell over the theater. And you could hear this little girl go like, whoa. And I'm like, at least she's having fun. Yeah. Like, at least she's enjoying herself. Because everybody else in this fucking room is like, what is this garbage? <laughs> I thought it was going to play that fucking Spongebob clip where it's, oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> That would have been pretty good, actually. <laughs> I would have loved that. Somebody in the theater should have had that queued up. <laughs> that was a really good impression of that. <laughs> You've been working on that one, huh? <laughs> no, that was my first time trying uh, Oh, Okay, well, it was really good. <laughs> uh, I should try and find that and put it in there. <laughs> Ray. You're a Palpatine. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> I did that in the one fucking episode of uh, <clears throat> Helldivers. I put in that fucking menacingly quote. <laughs> He's just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> I'll go this way to the left. I don't remember where what we're doing in this game. <laughs> when did you get fucking Neo powers? Like to warp and shit? Yeah. I've had that since when like you're, the first when fucking level, man. When you're doing this bullshit. Yeah, I've had that since the first fucking level, man. This bullshit. It's been like eight months since we played this. The start I of the had game. That, I've had that since the beginning. Yeah, well, it's I literally been like eight get months. That, I literally get that in the first level. Piece of shit. Why do you have boobies on the back of your head? Why, why does a robot have boobies on its head? I don't know. That that was, I think for me, a little bit of a questionable design with her with uh, uh, a girl robot Kit. That's what it, she, she goes by Kit, but it's like whatever. Oh, Kit Harrington. I love Kit Harrington. Why am I not able he's, to climb? He's this? the he's the fucking. Snow. Yeah, he's John Snow. He's, he's the fucking Lord of the Lord of the North, Lord of the Hills. He, he he's the rightful ruler of the 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 Seven Kingdoms, but he don't want it. Did I not? Did I really not get that? Oh, I somehow fell off of that. Really? I don't want it to. Oh, there we go. I can just cheese it. There we go. I never wanted to be part of the queen. Mm. Am I? What am I supposed to do? I don't follow him. Oh, follow Junkbot. Okay. Well, I wanted to get that rare titanium. Yeah. <gasps> I gotta get the Rubicon Forge or some shit. Nope. The Marco Rubio Forge. I got the Rubicon. I don't. <laughs> I lied. I was saying, I don't. I started rewatching oh! Game, Game of Thrones. I'm on like episode three of season two. And I'm like, man, this show was great. That's gonna be a long watch, though. Yeah, that's my thing with shows like that is that they they're too long sometimes. It really goes by quickly when you're watching it, binge wise. But uh, uh, yeah, Melissa and I've been watching um, Six Feet Under periodically. 
That's a show from like 2000. It started in 2000. And it's about a family that runs a funeral home. And then they're all really bad at maintaining their relationships. Because I don't even know how many times they cheat on each other. It's crazy. <laughs> Spoilers for... <laughs> 20 year old show. <laughs> Are they cheating on each other with the corpses? No. Oh, good. I don't think that's happened at all in the show, surprisingly. <laughs> surprisingly, no one's done necrophilia? Well, you, you would think, like, with people being around dead bodies all the time, that something weird would happen, but. Yeah. No. Nothing like that has happened thus far that I'm aware of. I mean, if I was a mortician, I'd be fucking all the guys. Oh! Oh! Um, what weapon do I want? You gonna fuck all the dead bodies, Taylor, if you were a mortician? Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> That'd be horrible. That's the thing, like, I think that's Are like... just a hot? I think, <laughs> I think that's like, you know, you know how like every like soccer mom now is like totally into like murder, like podcasts yeah, yeah. and shit like that? I feel like that's just like an innate human quality of like this morbid curiosity and like picturing like the actual acts of what's happening. Because, like, if you imagine being intimate with a dead body, <laughs> that would be terrible. Yeah. It would be horrible. Like, it would just be an unpleasant time, actually. It would be bad. Oh, I forgot I got the buzz blades. Duh. All right, Taylor. It's uh, it's 2 a.m. 2 a.m. And the Friday morning, got to get downstairs to get my cereal. How does it go? <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so you're at your mortician job. It's 2 a.m. Uh, you're going downstairs to get your cereal because Take you left it down there after you were... was Russian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, there's a whole bunch of Russian ladies that are out on the slabs. Um, <laughs> she wakes up, and she comes over to you, and she, she holds you down and starts kissing you. Now, uh, what do you do? She says in The her, Russian lady? Yeah, the Russian, the dead Russian lady. Oh, I'd be like, what the fuck? And she's like, oh, dust for Dunya. Oh, lost shit. <laughs> Why am I alive? <laughs> I don't speak Russian, so. Oh, duh. <laughs> and she starts kissing all up on your neck. What do you do? Uh, excuse me, I'm married. <laughs> You're telling this to a dead Russian chick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't speak English. I don't speak mm. Russian. <laughs> yeah. You going to decapitate this witch? I don't know. I mean, if that's the choice I have, I, I suppose. <laughs> well, your choices are up to you. you know, what Billy, are you willing to do you know what, to this Billy, possessed Robbie? I wish we had gotten some chips or something now. <laughs> Whatever. We just fucking ate. Like, I need to eat more. Oh, well, where's the pretzels? They're upstairs. I don't want them right now anyway. We'll get them after. They're ones you gotta like heat up and like spritz water on to get the salt to stick on them. Like oh, those, yeah, those yeah. kinds of ones, you know what I mean? <clears throat> no, I don't, we don't need food. We just fucking had a whole bunch. That's true. You're just trying to I just get, like, you're I just just like trying to get away from answering my question. I just here. like a snack. That's all. You just want something to put something munch in on. your mouth. I mean, realistically, I do have all those sunflower seeds. I could have those, but... You want to save those. I save those for work, yeah. I'm so, sure yeah, Taylor, what are you going to do about this Russian... I don't know. Russian is dead chick. Is this the beginning of, like, a Resident Evil game that I'm in now or something? No, she's just she's just kissing Billy, me. is this your elaborate ruse to now tell me that this Russian chick is actually King Crab? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> How'd you know? She starts blowing bubbles on your neck, Taylor. I'm like, no! King Crab, you back off! <laughs> and he's like, yeah, Taylor. <laughs> I almost had you, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> One day you will fuck me. <laughs> I'm like, no! I am, I am King Crab. Yes, and you will fuck me one day. Why does he sound like Glockner? <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a Skeletor Glockner. It's like Jim Sterling's version of Skeletor. <laughs> You've got boobs on your head. I know! Mm. 
You know, why can't a new Ratchet game not be part of the fucking, you know, Insomniac leaks? Instead we get Wolverine, like, boo. So you're gonna fuck King Crab? No. <laughs> nope. Not even gonna humor it. <laughs> well, you get the fuck off of King Crab. I'll jack you up. But not off. Alright? Don't worry. When we play Uncharted, he'll come back. <laughs> I know he will. <laughs> okay, there I have a stolen Melissa. And the only way to get her back is to fuck me. You got proof of this? His, his claw gestures <laughs> to a screen. <laughs> vaguely. Claw, claw. Why don't you even take off the helmet? Well, they do it for cutscenes, for so he can emote better. But also, like, it, depending on your actual armor that you choose, like it might be covering his uh, face. Mm. <laughs> yeah. As if all of that is controlled by one button. <laughs> Whoa! You're a charlatan? I, guess so. I don't even remember why we're here. We're trying to forge the dimension here. Oh, yeah, because we gotta get back to our correct time uh, lines. Uh, whatever. You guys gotta switch back. I'm not, like, I'm not talking shit on this story. It's just that you're not playing Ratchet for the story. That's all. You know? I used to. Well, in these, and I don't know, this game, I've said it, I think, in a previous episode, this game is not nearly as funny as all the older ones. No, I can, I can um, tell. They, they've PG-ified it too much. And I'm not saying that like the game has to be raunchy, but there was more freedom for that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this game's rated E. Yeah, you need to get a teen rating back on this game, Insomniac. What the heck are you doing? You gotta think, the people that played the original Ratchet game are in their 30s now. All right, we want some ranch. Yeah, I don't need her and him to like be doing anything to each other. But like, give me some I'm not, adult. But I'm not going to be upset if they are, you know. Yeah, like if we get a whole finger banging, like twenty <laughs> minute long set, like kind of scene. I want him to motorboat those weird robot titties on her head. <laughs> you know. It just so happens you need to lube her up. Like, more power to it. You know what, Billy? You know what I think is funny, though? Is this this alcoholic uh, monster? I would rather just have a monster. <laughs> I mean, a regular monster tastes better than that, I think. I know you don't like either. Yeah, that's fine, and that's okay. I uh, yeah, I I'm sure it tastes better if it's just a regular monster. I recognize that I am a uh, drywall punching Kyle, but like, you know, the only the only one I've ever really liked was Amp. Amp. Amp was that the Mountain Dew one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Well, you like that one. So the original Amp. Yeah, let's see. I is thought, well, I don't remember. Like, they used yeah. to have, you know, the green, the red, the blue. Yeah. You know, and, yeah, they were all owned by the people. Do you remember, uh... PepsiCo and Mountain, Mountain Dew MTX? I do. Do you remember, uh, DNL? DNL? Yeah. D um, 
drugs and loaded. No, do you know? Doritos and loaded. <laughs> no. no, it was a drink. DNL. Isn't that wasn't that the like the darker green one? I don't know. No, I don't remember what it was specifically. I only had it a couple of times, but I think it was supposed to be like a, a twist on Seven Up. So they take Seven Up, turn it upside down, and then it said DNL. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I do remember that. Yeah. I was thinking of like, the fucking like Do Two Point No, well, Mountain Dew MD- MTX was I think supposed to be like a uh, extra caffeine or something. It wasn't quite an energy drink, but it was like, uh, like halfway between. Yeah, halfway between, sort of. Hit that crystal. Um, see, you see what I'm ta- I was talking about earlier, though. Like, I, I love drinks. <laughs> I'm all about drinks. Yeah, drinks. I mean, like not alcoholic drinks, but yeah. yeah. I like them. I like a good flavored drink. I like a good soft drink to that I can tingle put, my pinkle. I can put in my gullet. And it'll yeah, gullet. I like shit. I like shit that you can just fucking guzzle. <laughs> that's that's where I'm at with it. You know what I feel our problem is? Is we're probably a bit dehydrated, and that's why we like um, drinking drinks. Is because it, you know drinks are so refreshing. Yeah. Maybe we should just like starve Drink ourselves, water. and water. then when we eat, it'll be like that. Like just drink water, you mean? No, no, like, no, no, not water. Fish fucking it. We don't want to drink that. Yeah, that's gross. No, I'm saying like we just don't eat anything for like four days, That'd and then terrible. you eat, and then you'll still get that. You'll get that same satisfaction as like when you drink something. No, but when you consume food, nah, don't know about that. I've done it, except for not four days. It was two days I didn't eat. For my, uh... I was on a fucking... My, uh, what you call it? My fasting. I was on a fucking uh, Age of Empires kick. All I could eat was Age of Empires. And All I could eat was... You can't eat that. What's the cheat code in that game? Uh, Motherload? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking, uh, uh, glittering prizes? Oh. Is that one? I don't know. No, I that's, never, I that's never, Warcraft too. I never played... Uh, either of those games. So, <laughs> all right. Well, next time on Chinstrap Chaps, I do this dumb mini game. If you do Marco Polo, that reveals the map and gets rid of the uh, Shadow War. Ah, oh, okay.